What's up, everybody? This is Mark Bruce with Fit Strength Training Studio. Today, I'm going to talk about how to reach your goal, how to get stronger, how to get leaner, and what you can do in the weight room. Okay? So today, I'm going to talk about hypertrophy training and strength training. Now, I'm going to post this as a picture so you can really see what's being uh, spoken about because as you see, it's showing up backwards like a mirror. Um, so first, hypertrophy. What is hypertrophy training? So when you train for hypertrophy, you're going to train in a higher rep range. And what kind of fibers you're hitting, they're called sarcoplasmic. As you see here, I have my nice drawing of your muscle prior to lifting. Prior to lifting, your muscle looks just regular. And then when you lift, you get that swole look. Those fibers increase. The size of those fibers increase. So you see you start with four fibers. When you do a hypertrophy style training, your muscle gets bigger, but the amount of fibers will remain the same. So the rep range you're going to stick to is about 8 to 12 reps. You can even increase to 15 or 20. If you're a beginner, I would stick between 8, 10, and 12 reps. Make sure your form's good. Make sure that you know, you're adequate in what you're, you know, you're doing in the weight room so you don't get hurt. And you can recover properly. If you're more advanced, you can go 12 reps, 15 reps, 20 reps. Um, next, for the hypertrophy, your short your rest time is shorter. So you're going to rest between 60 and 90 seconds. If you want to get a little more cardio based, you can rest about 30 seconds, whatever you'd like. And that'll get your heart rate up. That'll you know, get your workouts quicker if you're in a rush. And it'll give you that puffier look, that swole look. If you're looking to be a bodybuilder, this is the style you want. If you're looking to get stronger, well, the next piece we're going to talk about is what you're looking for. Okay? Now, the next one is strength. Strength training. So for strength, it's different. Hypertrophy, higher reps. Strength training, it's lower reps. And the type of fiber you're hitting is called, called a myofibrillar fiber. As you see, here's your muscle prior to training. You have four fibers to start. After doing strength training, your muscle relatively stays the same size, but what it does is you increase the fibers within that muscle. So you will remain the same weight, maybe get a little bigger, but that muscle will get more fibers within it and you'll get denser. Okay, that's where the difference between bodybuilders and power lifters. Power lifters don't look swole. Some of them do, but the majority, they just look dense and big and thick because this is the style of training they do. The rep ranges you're going to stick to are one to five reps. You got your one by one, your three by threes, your five by fives, and this is how you'll get stronger. So if you're an athlete, I highly recommend involving this in your training. This will help you become more powerful, more explosive, yet you won't get bigger. The bigger you are, the more you weigh, the slower you are. I'm only six foot. If I'm six foot 230, I may be strong, but I'm going to be very slow. So I just need to be powerful. I want to maintain my weight, yet I want to be strong, fast, quick. So for hypertrophy, your rest time is going to be a lot longer. For hypertrophy training, you can hit 90 pounds for a flat dumbbell press, and then you rest 60 seconds. You're not going to be able to hit 90 pounds again because you're going to be so fatigued. For strength training, you want to work on that initial power output. You want to give maximal strength. So you're going to get about three to five reps in. But in order to do that same weight for three to five reps, you're going to need to rest. So you rest anywhere between two minutes, three minutes, even five minutes. If you're someone that doesn't like to sit, sit around and do nothing like me, you can add a, a corrective exercise. So if your squat is limited, if you have a bit of a valgus situation, which means your knees are collapsing in, you can do simple band work in order to activate your glutes. You can do some core, something that's going to help prevent any injuries for while you're squatting. So that's the difference between strength and hypertrophy. Strength is going to get that muscle denser. Hypertrophy is going to get that muscle bigger. So if you want to get a little bit of both, you can do a hybrid. You, if you do a hybrid, you're going to focus on your compound movements at a lower rep range and then your accessory supplemental movements at a higher range. Compound movements look like bench press, deadlift, back squat, front squat, barbell row, overhead military press, whether it's sitting or standing. You can do that between three and five reps. Then your supplementary accessory movements could be something along the lines of like a single leg split squat, an RDL, 
uh, dumbbell incline press, a dumbbell fly, pec deck, um, bicep curls, tricep extensions. Those can be your higher rep exercises, and that's how you combine the two. That's how you get stronger, yet get bigger at the same time. Now, there's that misconception that if you lift heavy, low reps, you'll just get super big. Not true. I lift very heavy weights, and I'm not super big. So you girls out there who are looking to get leaner, don't be afraid to lift heavy. If you guys out there are afraid if you stop lifting higher reps that you'll lose your muscle, well, you want to do a little bit of both. If you get a denser muscle and then you cut up for the summertime by doing a style hypertrophy training, that muscle is going to look a lot leaner, a lot denser. It's going to look better. So by combining the two, you'll get best of both worlds, strength, and then hypertrophy will give you that size. So that's all I have today. Stay tuned. Um, if you have any comments, leave them. Any questions, you can email me. Find me at mark at fit-strength.com. Like my page, either Facebook, Instagram. Uh, take care. Go to work. Do what you need to do.